Good afternoon. Well, we start this hour with breaking news and two men have been arrested on suspicion of murder over the fatal stabbing of a footballer in Birmingham. 23-year-old Cody Fisher was stabbed on the dance floor of the Crane nightclub just before midnight on Boxing Day. Let's go to Sky's Dan Whitehead, who joins us now from Birmingham. Um, Dan, what is the police saying? Yeah, significant, uh, significant update in the investigation into the uh, stabbing of Cody Fisher, as you say, uh, in the late hours of Boxing Day inside the Crane nightclub. Uh, West Midlands Police issuing an update in the last couple of minutes saying that a 22-year-old uh, has been arrested and was held in an address in Birmingham City Centre just after uh, midnight last night. And in addition to that, a second man, aged 21, was arrested in London. Uh, they are being questioned on suspicion of murder of Cody Fisher, as you say, who was stabbed in the Crane uh, nightclub. Uh, we've had a further statement um, from the lead investigator, DCI Ian Ingram, from West Midlands Police, who has said that we're making good progress in our investigation and are building a better picture of what happened. We've been really pleased with the response from the public and have already had a number of witness accounts and images sent through which will help our investigation. It goes on to say that it is, it is vital that we hear from everybody who saw any part of what happened that night, no matter how insignificant they think it might be. Cody's family and friends are devastated by what happened and will continue to bring them uh, answers. So uh, a significant update nearly two days on from... Uh, this attack which happened uh, inside a very busy nightclub uh, in Birmingham. Hundreds of people were, in, were inside uh, the Crane nightclub on Boxing Day uh, night. And we understand one of those, Cody, was uh, dancing with friends uh, in, as part of a group who had gone out that night uh, to celebrate uh, Christmas. And that is when he was uh, fatally stabbed and died uh, on that uh, dance floor. Uh, we're outside Stratford Town Football Club, which was the football club uh, some 40 minutes south of that nightclub where Cody played. Uh, and uh, we heard yesterday from the chairman of the club, um, this is uh, a group of uh, young men who have been absolutely devastated by uh, this news. We understand that a number of them were with Cody in the nightclub uh, at the time. And uh, tributes paid from uh, this club and other non-league clubs, including Bromsgove, which uh, Cody played for last season. There's been messages as well on social media, of course. Um, one from uh, a lady called Jess Chatwin. We don't know the exact relation to uh, Cody, but she has gone on Instagram and Twitter putting up pictures of them together uh, as a couple, saying, you didn't deserve any of this. I'm so sorry this happened to you, my baby. Please come home. I love you forever, uh, Cody Fisher. That's the message from her. Uh, and tributes as well from schools because Cody not only played uh, for Stratford Town, but he was a football coach at primary schools in the area, uh, providing inspiration to uh, young people in the Birmingham area. At one of those schools, Woodrow First School, now I've spoken to the head teacher today, they are uh, devastated as well by the loss of someone who clearly was very inspirational to uh, those in the classroom there at Woodrow. Everyone at uh, the school is devastated to hear of the tragic and needless death of this bright, friendly and talented uh, young man. This, of course, is a fast-paced investigation. There is uh, a significant police at present still at uh, Crane nightclub and although the police say they are making headway and of course they have now made two arrests they are still uh, keen to hear from people who were inside that club it was incredibly uh, busy it is a large club uh, and we understand hundreds of people were in there uh, to enjoy the DJs that were performing on that night and they're especially asking for people who have photos or possibly videos uh, of uh, their night to send them through so that the detectives in charge can uh, make an assessment as to whether or not uh, it is relevant. But the main update uh, that we have this afternoon is the first arrests uh, on suspicion of murder of Cody Fisher, that 22-year-old held in Birmingham last night just after midnight and a 21-year-old also arrested in London.